Winter storm Keenan pummeled New York on Friday and Saturday, dumping over a foot of snow in some parts of the city. Most significant snowfall had left the tri-state area by 7 p.m. Saturday night as the storm moved north and battered parts of eastern New England. Most snowfall in the Big Apple was in the 7 to 10 inch range, such as in Central Park which saw 8.3 inches, according to AccuWeather meteorologist Alan Repper. Some neighborhoods in Queens, however, saw over 12 inches, he said. Bayside had some of the most significant accumulation, with 13.1 inches recorded as of 7 p.m. Saturday night. Middle Village got hit with 12.7 inches and JFK Airport saw a measured total of 12.6 inches, according to AccuWeather totals. In Brooklyn, the heaviest accumulation was recorded in Bay Ridge, which came in shy of a foot at 11 inches. Woodrow in Staten Island measured a peak accumulation of 9.9 .9 inches in the borough. In the Bronx, 9.1 inches were recorded in Throg's Neck. Long Island took a harder hit from Keenan as it crept up the Atlantic coast, with accumulations of over 20 inches recorded in parts of Suffolk County, with Deer Park measuring 21 inches of snow. The Jersey Shore was also hit hard, with 19.5 inches recorded in Beechwood in Ocean County. Here is a preliminary observed snowfall totals map. The highest totals were found across Suffolk and New London counties, where multiple measurements of above 20 inches were observed. The Islip Airport recorded 24.7 inches of snowfall, which is the highest in our area. According to FlightAware, 4.831 flights were cancelled across the US on Saturday. Nearly 2,000 flights were grounded for travelers on Sunday. Reppert told The Post that the main concerns for Saturday night remain 40 mph wind gusts. Winds will remain somewhat strong through the night, we're still expecting some blowing and redirecting of the snow that did fall, he said. There may be some flurries around, but looks like a majority of the storm is over with.